Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. If you guys watched my previous video, I bought some things at an estate sale about three weeks ago. Uh, I bought a pile of clothing, which I couldn't really see. I saw two sweaters on the top, which is the reason I bought the lot. I spent $100 on the five bags that we're gonna go through. I explained more of it in my previous video, if you guys have seen that. If not, go go take a look. And uh, let's just start digging into these bags. I have no idea what is in these bags. The only thing I do know is the two sweaters that I saw, as I said, on the top of the photo when I bought the stuff online. So. Hopefully those sweaters are in here. I'm sure they are. So yeah, it was $100. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's in here. Uh, if you didn't see my previous video, I also purchased other things when I went to pick this stuff up. So that video shows you guys all of that stuff. It got a little long, so I kinda kind of stopped it here. I, don't, I hope you guys can see this camera angle is weird today i need to get a new tripod i think it doesn't hold it doesn't hold my phone where it should all right i'm just like digging stuff out i don't even know what this is okay cleaned with care packaged with pride so this is in a dry cleaning bag let's just open this up let's open this up i'm excited to dig into this stuff all right so this is a pam and jella sweater never heard of that brand we'll have to look that up it's like just a nice striped sweater size medium I wonder if that's men's it could be men's I didn't see oh my battery's running low had to push that notification there I didn't see any actually I did see I think maybe I did see a couple of men's items, but I think most of it's female stuff. So maybe this is too, I don't know. All right, here we have a Boston Clipper. This is a wool, kind of like a Christmas type sweater. Well, I don't know, it's winter. It's got a snowflake. This looks like it could be a men's. All righty. What else do we have in here? Oh, this is cute. This still has the tags. Okay, this is Artisans. This was sold at Cabela's. It's a sweater with a little mama bear and baby bear. So that's nice. I, I've sold Cabela's stuff before and I've done okay with it. I mean, it certainly isn't going to sell right now in the summer, but that's okay. I will have it for later on. Okay, so this is like a total dirty hat. Yeah, well, not keeping that. Oh, here we have some men's socks. <laughs> dirty, dirty socks. So that's not, that's not very exciting. Uh, here, what do we have here? We have Natori, Natori, however you pronounce that. This is just like like a lounge set, I guess, or lounge pants. And this is, this is the top. It could be like a pajama set or something. Feels like a terry cloth kind of, kind of feel to it. All right, last item in this bag. Just folded with some tissue paper. It's got a lot of pilling on it, I think. This is an Ann Taylor, it's kind of like a cream color sweater, so nothing special. All right, so far with the first bag, I am liking the stuff that I handpicked much better, but we'll see, we'll see, that was only the first bag. All right, so second bag here. This looks like, oh, like an infinity scarf. It's not branded, it's got a tag, it's acrylic. I mean, these are cute. I don't know if I'll be able to sell this. It's kind of like plain, but my daughter wears these. All right, then we have, is this a blanket? 
Oh no, it's not. It's not a blanket. It feels like a blanket, like a fleece blanket. So this is, let's see if there's a brand on this. This is like a big old cowl neck. Uh, it's gotta be a, okay, here we go. Black Mountain, one size. So yeah, this is definitely, oh, it's another like poncho type thing. That's what it is. Southwestern print, fleece. This, this will sell. This will definitely sell. All right, here we have Ann Taylor Devon Fit shorts, size 12. Those should definitely sell. These are cute for, for right now, this time of year. They look like they're in decent condition. Here we have a pair of, another pair of Devon Fit. These definitely look like they're a little more worn. Also size 12. And then we have another pair of Devon Fit. These are cute. These will definitely sell. They have, I don't think those are flamingos. I think they're, um, what are these birds? Pelicans? Pink pelicans? I don't know, guys. Tell me what this bird is. Tell me what this bird is. What do you think that bird is? But these are, it, my lighting is horrible. Are these missing a button? No, no, they're not. So my lighting's really bad right now. It's getting a little darker. It's after seven o'clock. I have my interior lights on. These are blue. These are bluer than they look on camera, but I think these will do okay. So that's good. Okay, so this, this is a scarf. This is just a plaid scarf, Marona. So that's Target, an old Target brand. As I said in my last video, they don't make it anymore. All right, what do we have here? These look like some kind of workout pants or something. Old Navy, Old Navy Active, size XL. These are like a teal green, skinny leg. These should sell. They're uh, fleece lined, I think. Yep. I, I don't think anybody's gonna wanna work out in those right now, but. All right, here we have, oh, this is a good brand. Also wrapped in paper. This is a Nick and Zoe sweater, size large. So that's cute. Looks like it's in good shape. This looks like another pair of the old Navy Go Dry XL pants in gray. And then what do we have here? This is a Tanner. I have to, I, I've heard of Tanner before. I really have to look it up though. This is a scarf with some little fur detail at the end. I know the one, um, the one fancy scarf that I got that was in the last haul. I, I think that was Tanner that one has tags on it. All right, then what else do we have in here? This, what is this? Troubadour, Troubadour. Um, I don't know what this is. It looks like it might be another infinity scarf. It's like kind of twisted one way. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but what's the inside pattern? Ooh. I don't know, but this is like an infinity scarf, I think. And it looks like that. I mean, it looks, it feels like quality. I have to check that out. Then we have a Chico's design size two. This is, this is an older Chico's tag, but we'll see. We'll see how that does. All right, so that wasn't, that wasn't a terrible bag. Definitely not a terrible bag. I still haven't come across the pieces um, that were the reason I bought this, this pile. So, all right, tearing open the next bag here. What do we have? 
this sweater looks like it's got a little bit of, oh, maybe it's not wear, maybe it's like mohair. You know how sometimes mohair looks a little messy? I think that's what the case is with this. So this is an Ann Taylor, like Argyle sweater. So we have lots of winter stuff here, but I don't mind. It'll be in my store ready to go come, come the fall. These are a pair of Lands End kind of wide leg, just like workout lounge pants or whatever. They look like they've got a little bit of wear. They're a size medium, I think. <gasps> okay, this, I found one of the items. This is one of the reasons, this is like the main reason that I bought the lot because this is gorgeous. This is size small. This is Dale of Norway, which is such a good brand of Nordic sweaters. They're just, they're just, they resell really well. Make sure all, sometimes these little clasps will break off at the end and that is a true bummer. But these look to all be here and good. And this is in this is in great shape. This is an amazing, this is an amazing sweater. Let's see what's going on. The camera made it look like it had some weird, some weird thing going on in here. The camera, the camera makes it look right here, like something's going on there, but there's not. That's just the pattern of it. That's just the pattern somehow. I don't know, but because you see that on the arms too. I don't know, but this is in really, this is in really great condition. Here's the label. There we go. Some of these Dale of Norway sweaters can sell for a couple hundred dollars. Uh, I'm gonna have to look this particular one up. I'm not sure what I'm gonna list it at, but that's gonna pay for most of this lot, if not all, which is really good. Okay, here we go. This one, Devold made in Norway. Now this brand I had never heard of, but I could see it in the photo next to the Dale of Norway. And I looked it up and the comps look pretty strong on this as well. This has regular buttons. It doesn't have the, it doesn't have the clasps, but it's got a really nice, I don't, they're not all buttoned, but you get the idea. It's got a really nice fair aisle print some nice detailing, nice embroidery. And here is the label on that. This is also a small, there's the, the label. So that, those two right there, those will pay for everything. So that's exciting. All right, back to the unknown. <laughs> All right, so here we have more Notori. I'm gonna have to look that up. This is, these look like they're in better shape. This looks like, like a pair of pajama pants, PJs, loungewear. Here we have Copen, size eight. These are like, definitely, I've sold this brand before. Just a pair of like, I don't know, workout pants, outdoor hiking pants, something like that. So that's not bad. Uh, Massimo Supply XL. These are just like a Target brand pair of joggers. I mean, these aren't really going to be, those aren't really going to be that great. I don't even know if I'll list those, to be honest with you. Oh, here we have from the Needles of Mary Yeager. Okay, so this looks handmade. This looks very nice. This looks like a very nice sweater. And I think that'll do well. It's definitely got the mohair thing going on. Let's see if there's any indication of size anywhere or an inside tag. I don't see, I don't see any. So I'm gonna have to just measure this well. But that's a nice, that's a nice sweater. I like that. And what else do we have in here? Uh, Champion Duo Dry. So these are just like a pair of 
workout capris. Nothing crazy special. Looks like we might have another pair of the Old Navy. These have a lot of pilling in like the crotch area. So these will probably just get donated, probably get donated along with those Morona or Target pants or whatever. Um, I have to check the other ones and make sure that they don't look, I have to make sure they don't look um, really pilled around that area too. Okay, so what do we have here? This is a Morona swim bottom, size large, looks like it's in good condition. Here we have a bra. See what the brand is on this bad boy. It's cut out, so that's gonna be that's gonna be donated. This one looks like it's got a lot of wear. That's gonna be donated. Uh, here we have. I can't even tell because it's really really worn. So that's gonna be donated. And last piece in this bag is a pair of Spanx. Okay, okay, I can get on board with Spanx. Everybody likes to have a good pair of Spanx, right? I don't know. These are like a like a moleskin kind of pant. So I think those will do well. They're black, even though my lighting is making them look terrible. Okay, so two more bags to go. I'm not hating it. I'm not, I'm really not. I've definitely dug through worse. I really have. Uh, you guys have known, you guys know that. You've seen me if you've watched my videos for a while. All right, so here we have, this is an Under Armour size large. I don't know if this is like a compression top, something like that. Then we have, this is like a turtleneck. It's got wear, it's just blah, it's nothing special. It is worth less to me so that's going in the donation pile <laughs> all right here we have blarney woolen mills so this is another this is like an irish sweater i've done okay with this brand before it's a real like what do you call that knit uh i can't think right now it's been a long day, but that's 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 a good sweater. That's not bad at all. It looks like we might have, okay, Quills, Quills Woolen Market, Ireland. So I think that'll do okay. These aren't, these are just kind of plain. They're not gonna sell for as much as the others, but I think they'll still do okay. Here we have a cute little knitted, knitted, knit beret. Uh, it doesn't have a maker. It's got a style number, but that's cute, right? That's kind of cute. I like that. That's not bad. I'll throw that online. Here we have Made in Peru Supply Natural. It's alpaca and acrylic. And to be honest with you, this is my kind of hat right here. And I might keep this. I love these hats that like have the little ear flappy type things. My kids hate going out with me when I'm wearing something like this, but I don't care. I'm keeping, I think I'm, I'm, I'm keeping that. Who am I kidding? I'm totally keeping that. Oh, here we have another hat. This one is, it looks like champion. It's just like a little tiny like beanie type thing. Here we have, this is Anvil. So this is like destroyed. Ooh, I don't know what they had going on in their armpits, but I hope they got that checked. Holy moly. Look at this. What is, like, what is that? What is that? That's, that's some, that's an issue. All right, so this says Faith, Trust, Pixie Dust. I trust that I'm getting rid of this. Like, I'm not messing with that shirt at all. Okay, moving on. Sport Tech Ladies Size Large. Make the ultimate choice my choice. So, no idea what this is. If this was like, I don't know, 
I don't know what this is. I'll look it up. Okay, here we have, I think these might have like staining. Spanx. I'm gonna have to look in better lighting to tell if that's got like armpit staining, because if so, these are gonna have to go. But if not, they're gonna get sold because they're Spanx. Uh, here's another one. This one definitely has like issues in the front, so that's getting donated. This one definitely has, I mean, even in bad lighting, I can see that's donating, or don't, that's getting donated. Um, I think this one does have armpit stuff. So with a light color like that, there's like no hiding it. So that's just the donation pile. That's where it's going. Here we have, what is this? Ooh, okay, I can get down with this. This is a Disneyland. XL, so this looks totally like a men's, like jersey style shirt. So that's cool. If you guys watched my last video, there was a Disney cardigan that I was pretty excited about. So this is, this is good. All right, then I, I have to check and see what time it is. Okay, I have to pick my daughter up soon. So I'm gonna have to wrap this up as quick as possible. Here we have another worth. Uh, turtleneck that is getting donated. All right, here we have a land and something. Oh, this is an orthopedic, um, orthopedic type thing. I think actually, I think my mom went there when she broke her wrist to that place. But anyway, that's getting donated. Here we have a standard size pillowcase see what brand it is there's no brand on it it's blue it's striped it's getting donated all right here we have a very lightweight stretched out t-shirt that's also getting donated oh, this looks like another worth it is it's worth it's gone i don't nobody's buying that turtleneck mm. All right, looks like we have an oh we have another hat another another hat that covers your ears i'm keeping that one too then we have i hate winter i hate hats but if i have to wear them that's what i'm gonna wear all right here we have a land's end this is um very soft it's just a fleece top size large i don't know did that shrink up or what because it or else it's like cropped or something I don't that's questionable hmm. I don't know I don't know which pile that's going in for now it's just kind of going on the floor all right I have a couple more minutes to dig in to this last bag all right we have we have another another scarf J crew okay that's good I can I can get down with a J crew scarf so that. That's going in the keep pile. Ooh, what do we have here? You guys know who this is? And you guys, does that pattern give it away or what? This is Laurel Birch. So that's nice. That's a nice silk scarf. It's got some, oh, it does have a little tiny spot right here but that should still be good for like 20 bucks, even with that spot. She does a lot of, uh, a lot of cat prints, but also horses and I don't know, a couple other things. Well, she doesn't do it anymore because I believe she passed away, but yeah. All right, what do we have here? This is a, oh, this is a funky scarf. So it's like, uh, smocked that's the word i'm looking for it's smocked and then it goes off into like this ruffle so it's kind of like very boho Let's see if this has a brand on it i like this scarf made in china and that's all it's given me made in china but 
yes, that'll get listed. My pile is about to fall over here. Ugh, my hair is like somehow stuck. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Wow. Holy moly. This, ooh, okay. This is free people. This is the thickest scarf I have ever felt. I mean, I would be so uncomfortable wearing this, to be honest with you. So this is another, like, one of those weird, um, the way it, it's like an infinity scarf. But it's, it's, it's like you can't keep wrapping it. Like, this is just like a one-time deal. You put it over your head and you're done. But this would be, I don't know. This is, this is like making me claustrophobic thinking about this thing around my neck. But thinking about it in my eBay store is another story. I am totally going to sell this. So that is, that's pretty sweet. I, this looks like it might be a bag of scarves, but you know what? I'm not mad at it. I'm really not. I can live with that. So here's another one of those funky, like smocked. This is kind of like very boho. That's not bad. That is not bad. And then we have, uh, another scarf this is like a polka dot let's see if we have a brand on this i love it when they're branded this one might not be i don't think this one is well that's all right though this this woman loved her scarves they are easy to list easy to ship all right what do we have here here we have a giant infinity scarf she was a fan of those as well this is Echo. Never heard of Echo, but it's got some glitter to it, some shimmer to it, and I like that. So yeah, this is a giant. This one you can wrap around a couple times. This is a big old scarf right here. So there we go. I'm going to have everyone's winter gear. This has a little charm on it. Too chic. That's the brand on this. And it's got a little bitty two hanging off of it. And this is another infinity scarf. Look how long this thing is. I mean, it's like, wow. I don't know. I don't wear scarves. So my scarf game is like I'm clueless, but let's check this out. Let's check this out. That big long thing turns into this. I, you can't even like see me today. I don't, I feel like, I don't know, my camera is, I could not get the angle right. It was either pointing at the floor or just like, ugh, I don't know. Anyway, next, <laughs> here we have, this is, this is so much fun. I love going through bags like this. Here we have another scarf. This one's very soft see if it is branded at all i might be missing it but i don't i have to check the time again okay i really have to go soon oh here we go oh no it just says one size so i'm not sure of the brand it's polyester okay i thought maybe it was acrylic it's it's very soft i will still sell that oh girl what are you Oh my goodness. This is Ill Fate Freud. This is so soft. Oh my goodness. This is so, oh, I could just like rub this all over my skin. <laughs> this is so, it's probably a real animal though, honestly. I'm gonna have to look this up. It doesn't say like materials, but I think this might be a real animal. It might be like chinchilla. This is so soft. Don't go calling PETA on me because it might be faux. And I didn't know I was buying this, guys. Let me tell you something. This is so soft. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's so, oh, I like this. I'm gonna have to look that brand up. Here, I'm gonna show you Oh my goodness. I'm going to show you the tag here. There we go. 
And this is like the softest thing I've ever felt in my life, I think. All right, here we have, uh, this is unbranded. It looks like it's like kind of equestrian, kind of like in Ralph Lauren style. It's also got like some animal print. So yeah, that's kind of like, I don't know. All right, here we have another funky, another funky one. I like this. This is cool. Oh, we have a tag. Tickled pink. So that's that. And it looks like one more. Nope, two, two pieces, three. Three pieces in here. Okay, so this is, this is cool. This feels like a moleskin material. Steve Madden, faux suede. That's what that is. It's got the fringe. This is really cool. I'm digging this. I like that. All right, then we have, this is one of those type things. It would like wrap around your head or your ears. Like you could wear it a couple different ways. I ordered one of these from China one year, like two, three years ago. I thought it looked so cute. And then I got it and I put it on and it looked ridiculous on me. Like I can rock a hat and, and you know, it's not too bad. Something like this, forget about it. It just, it, it just didn't look right. So it's somewhere in, somewhere in my house not being used. All right, last item is, this should have been called a scarf lot, to be honest. There's tons of scarves in here. I don't think this is, I don't think this is branded. Just another plaid scarf, but a square scarf. Let me see if there's anything on this side. I'm about to play peekaboo with you guys. <laughs> I'm in a, I'm in rare form. I am in rare form today, guys. All right, so it's not branded. It's just a plaid scarf. So that's it. I mean, not bad. I am totally going to make my money back, plus some. Totally happy with it. Totally happy with the previous haul, if you guys watched that video. Uh, yeah, so that's going to wrap it up because I have to go pick my daughter up from work. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have please give it a thumbs up, uh, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.